Hello everyone, welcome to the very first day of 30 days, three zero, no kidding, 30 days of me doing Facebook Live, which is 30 more days than I've ever done Facebook Live. I think I've like done one before with my friend Marisa and that's it, but I've never done them solo just because that's never been my thing, but we're taking on a challenge because we really want to spread a message to you guys over the next 30 days and give you all this incredible persuasion technology that we use technology meaning in our brains the, the way that we think of words as copywriters the way we think of words as marketers and how you can put that into your marketing to profit more in 2019 this is all about ramping you guys up for 2019 and having just a killer killer profitable year using persuasion tactics so that's why this is called persuade and profit live it's 30 days of live Persuade and profit. So we're gonna have a lot of fun, and I hope you guys will bear with us if we have any sort of like crazy tech issues. We basically sent this out to my entire list, so hopefully we'll get a lot of viewers on here, a lot of people commenting. If you come on, please comment, say hello. I'm not gonna do the whole like, hey, hey, what's going on? Good to see you, man. I'm not gonna do the whole like, um, uh, uh, I'm gonna say hello to everyone under the sun because I really want to get into the meat of this. We're gonna have a lot of people pile it on, but do say hello. Do write your comments. I want to tell you one, a couple of quick things before we get started. So first of all, I want to show you that for who I am, so in case you don't know who I am, I'm John Benson and I'm known as the billion dollar copy coach. What that means is, doesn't mean I have a billion dollars. I, and I wish that was the case, but what that does mean is that I've helped customers of mine and clients of mine with the copy that I've written and the technologies that I've created earn over a billion dollars. And that's kind of a misnomer because that's a yearly figure for some of my people. So, that, so that's, I've earned a lot of money with copy. So the copy that we're talking about is really based on persuasion. Persuasion is the key to marketing. Now, to be persuasive, you don't have to lie. You don't, you really don't even have to exaggerate, although most marketers do. You do have to have passion and you do have to use persuasive language. And that's what we're gonna be talking about over the next 30 days. And we're gonna use email pretty much as the diagnostic tool, but this works for anything, sales pages, VSLs, emails, ads. And we'll get into some other that during the next 30 days as well. So that is one thing. Second thing, we're having a contest and it's based on your comments below this video that you're watching right now. And it's comments that we're, we need you to be here live. So comments after the fact are not gonna be graded in the score. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tally the people that make the most comments that are cool comments, not like you know BS comments like one, two, three, echo, test, that kind of stuff is gonna be deleted, all right? But real comments, like you can say, hey, this is awesome and you, if you really mean it, or can you tell me more, or I've used this before and it really works, those kind of comments. And we're gonna tally at the end of the week, of each of the four weeks we're doing this. And the winner of every week is going to get a, a four person live call with me. We're gonna do a mastermind call for 90 minutes with the four of us. And just give you a, a value of that, that's $2,500 is what I charge to be on a, on a small group co coaching call with me. So $2,500 value for four of you that are watching live and we're gonna give that away. So that's gonna help your business in an amazing way. We're gonna help you be able to, to really focus in on specifics and I'll take each equal time with each person on the call. So that is gonna be a lot of fun. We're getting more and more viewers here. Hey, great, great to have you. Hey, Gordon, uh, awesome. Hey, thanks a lot, man, I really appreciate that. And we got Terry here. So we're, we're really going, going to say John's here, we got Andy here. Hey guys, thanks a lot for showing up. Really do appreciate it. So I'm new at this Be Live thing. So if there's some technology issues, that is gonna be kind of one of those things. So let's dive in. So what I'm going to do and just the format of this, by the way, is the format is I'm going to talk to you live like this and, and for a few minutes and then hopefully come back at the end and just take a few quick questions. But in the middle of this, I'm going to switch to slides and slides, uh, not a VSL, just just a kind of like a PowerPoint slide to go over all the stuff I want to share with you today. And today we're going to start by something that's really kind of cool. You may have never heard of this. OK, it's called the secret of UIBs. And the reason you haven't heard UIB it's because I created UIB. UIB is actually a UIB, okay? Bear with me, we're going down the rabbit hole. What is a UIB? A UIB is called, it's a unique identity brand. A unique identity brand. I used to call this trademark terms, okay? Trademark terms. It, I'm gonna show you the three things that you really need to trademark in all of your copy. Now, trademark doesn't mean that you have to find that you coin a phrase. And you make that a unique identity brand to something that already exists. And I'm going to give you examples of very famous ones that already exist, but now they own this unique identity brand and boom, it sticks out and makes them lots of money with their marketing. So this is a three-day training. You need to show up today, tomorrow, and the next day to get all three 
uh, tips on how to make UIBs work for all three categories. Okay, so that is what we're gonna be doing today. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, so cool. Uh, fire them off, we'll get to the questions at the end of the deal. Now, let's dive into the training part of this. I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna show you my screen. Hopefully you guys will be able to see the screen. In a second. And presto. Hopefully everybody can see the screen. If any, if you can't see the screen, I can't, uh, just someone Skype me and let me know. <laughs> so, uh, great, so uh, again, UIBs, unique identity brands, okay. So what is a unique identity brand? That is where you are taking existing problems, solutions, and concepts and creating what's called a trademark term. And a trademark term is really just a simple, clever way of stating something. That's all this is. So we added a fancy name, unique identity brand, UIB. In fact, my business partner just used the phrase UIB to me yesterday and I thought, this is so cool. When you hear your own phrase come back, it's like, yeah, we need a UIB for this. And he, you know, he only heard that once. So it's stuck in his mind. And now he's using UIB rather than what a lot of people use when they think of trademark terms. They think of, um, you've heard this all the time, like you've heard um, a USP, for example. This is not a USP. A U, this is not a USP. We often call this a primary solution inside Email Copy Pro, and I'll show you that while we work through this over the next couple of days. But a UIB is a unique identity brand. I'm gonna give you one of the most famous. If you're old enough to remember Budweiser beer back in the 70s, they had something cool called Beached Wood Aged, and that was the heart of their marketing. That was the heart of their marketing. And Beached Wood Aged is very interesting because those two words made Budweiser billions, with a B, of dollars. Billions. The interesting thing is, is most beer is Beached Wood Aged. So all they did was take a process that most beers used and gave it name. I mean, stand out from everyone else and they were like no one else could they couldn't come back and go oh yeah we're beachwood age too because what are you doing you're just re-emphasizing your competition they beat you to the punch right that is a unique identity brand and you can do it for three specific areas of your market marketing area number one is what i call the primary cause the primary cause this is the mechanism behind your customer's problem the mechanism behind the problem this is not i want to make this very clear not necessarily the problem it's the drivers of primary causes today. That's day one of three. We're going to go dive into primary causes. Uh, day two, we'll look at primary solutions. That's the mechanism behind your product or solution. That is not your product. So, for example, my product, Email Copy Pro, the primary solution is not Email Copy Pro. The primary solution is called Dynamic Blueprints. It's the technology that drives Email Copy Pro, and it's only found in Email Copy Pro. Are, are, are you following the logic here? That's the unique identity brand. Prime is, is dynamic blueprints. That's only found in email copy pro. The same thing we're gonna do with primary cause. The real cause of your problem is X. Everyone's telling you something, but it's really X. And once you say X and X is unique to you, even if it's a common mechanism, even if it's a common problem, your audience is gonna go, wow, you're the only one with this solution. So <laughs> you're the only one talking about this problem. This might be my real problem. Naturally, they're gonna be more prone to listen to you for the solution. And finally, we'll end on day three with mistaken beliefs. Now, remember, this is a 30 day. <laughs> I'm committing to 30 days every day at 11 a.m. It's, it's, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because I'm traveling. I'm actually moving during this time, but I'm still gonna make this work for you even if I'm on my cell phone because I wanna give you more and more value over the next 30 days. And we're gonna dive into all kinds of really cool stuff practical stuff. And as you'll see, these are practical things. I'm not just giving you concepts. I'm going to show you emails. Again, emails are our teaching method right here. We could use this with sales pages. We could use this with ads, anything. Got it? Cool. Now let's look at primary cause for today. The primary cause, let's say the problem is that, you, okay, I'm going to take a very real problem that we solve. You don't know what to write for your next email. I mean, you're staring at that, that freaking blank page. You know the cursor, the blinking cursor of death? That's on it. Like it's just blinking at you, mocking you almost. Well, that's what we want to help you avoid. Let's avoid the. Let's avoid that. I have no idea what to write. I don't feel inspired. I don't know if I should pitch. I don't know if I should get content. Okay, so that is a serious problem for marketers. Comment below if you've ever had that problem. If you've like, I know I need to send an email, but you blew it off and you waited in the next day or the next day or the next day, or you just started typing and you really didn't know what you were saying. I mean. Be honest, everyone, comment, <laughs> comment below, comment below and let me know if this has been a problem because this is a problem with vast majority of marketers. And by the way, well, I've had this my problem myself. So we came up with a UIB for this called blank page paralysis. 
I tend to lean toward alliterations. So P and P like page paralysis. You can also call this page paralysis. That, that would totally work fine too. But that was the, so now when somebody, we talk about page paralysis, it's just a fun way of stating the problem. Now I'm going to give you some other primary cause UIVs in a moment. That's not a fun way of stating the problem. That literally makes it sound like we're the only one talking about this really serious condition. But in this case, this is not life threatening, obviously. So we're going to talk about blank page process. I'm going to show you how it's used inside of an email. Notice that I use it often right in the subject line, blank page paralysis, the email marketing killer. This is the problem. This is the primary cause of what you're going through. So, this is very important language, very important language. I want you to write this down. This is not on slides. This is not anything that I might ever, ever say again, so to, but it's something I say all the time. So please write this down. Your goal as a marketer is to ask your prospect to believe one thing, one thing. If you can have one thing, this overriding belief really hammered into the mind of your prospect that this is your problem, and this is your solution. It's not nine tips to X, okay? Now, those are great articles, nine tips to improve your cash flow. Great, but what's really driving your cash flow problems is something I call blank. Notice the language, something I call blank. I also use phrases like something the experts now refer to as blank, and that is your primary cause UIB. And now, you look like a badass. You look like somebody that's like on top of the cutting edge of the world, right? And that's what I want for you. That's what I want for you. This is the email marketing killer. And guess what? No one's ever heard of this, right? Because I created it. So when I send this out, it's like, wait, you know there's a problem with your email marketing. You do. You just don't know what it is per se. And then all of a sudden you see this, it's like, maybe that's what it is. So naturally you think this inspires all opens? Well, of course it does. Of course it does. Oh, by the way, this entire email was created by Email Copy Pro. It's a machine <laughs> that does this. Granted, it's a smart AI machine that's got 30 copywriters behind it, but you get the idea. So I'm going to go through a little bit of the structure of this just so I can tell you how I set it up. Okay. This is called post engagement. Okay. Post engagement. Don't worry about the terminology. All post engagement means is that you, you've made engagement with your customer before and you kind of know what they want. And so this is a way to remind them of what you already know. And that's why I start with the phrase, you know, <laughs> that's not accidental. That's NLP. And I know if you guys had to learn all this stuff on your own, it would be a long journey, which is why we created email copy, bro. So it puts it all in there for you. But, but I want to give you the technology still and, and the tips still so that you can apply it. You know, writing email copy from scratch can be awful. Okay. And I bet you're still very interested in email marketing, right? Well, well that's also called duality. I want you to look at those two sentences. This can be awful but you're still really interested in this, right? So the ride is very positive. You're interested in email marketing. Now I could change that sentence to say, I bet you would like to make a lot more money with your email marketing, right? Notice that one is very negative. This can be awful. And one is very positive. I want, you can make a lot of money with email marketing. So that's called a duality phrase. So what we are doing this a very, very simple reason to do this. You don't know the mood of your client or prospect. They may be in a shitty mood. They may be in a beautiful mood. You don't know. People in beautiful moods tend to respond to very positive things. If you're in a beautiful mood, do you want to turn on the news and see that, you know, 97 people die today of some bizarre disease that's spread? No, you don't. I mean, even though it's important, even though your heart goes out there, you, you kind of want to stay in that beautiful mindset, right? But if you lost your job or if you had a big fight with your lover or you had some other thing go wrong, that negative news might, or if you're having a jaded conversation with somebody, Okay, negative news. You don't know the mood and you don't know the mindset, the overriding mindset of your prospect. So that's why I want you to start here. Simple phrase. Use a negative, use a positive. You knock them both in. It appeals to everyone. So that's very simple. Now let's get to this specific thing about how we use the primary cause of blank page paralysis. You're not alone. And notice the phrase down here. You're most likely suffering from what experts call blank. Well, experts do call it that. I am an expert. You see how that works? And other people on my team are also experts who also call it blank page paralysis. So now we have officially a group of experts calling it blank page paralysis. And then I just define it. What is it? It's that dreaded feeling of looking at a blank page and wondering what the heck do I write next? That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. But now I can start linking that blank page paralysis, blank page paralysis over and over and over again. And I become that guy that solves blank page paralysis. 
Do you see why that's so much better than having a subject line that just says, do you know what to write next in your emails? I mean, th that's good, but it doesn't, it doesn't brand anything. It doesn't make anything specific to you. Let's give you a couple more. You are gaining weight past the age of 40. I know no one here can relate to that. That never happens, of course. But for the few people that you know that that might be true for, okay, I'm going to give you three. I write in this topic a whole lot, as most of you know. I'm, I do a lot in the fitness industry. And we came up with three that you might have heard of. Menopause belly, the boomer bug, and metabolic adaptation. Okay, so one's really technical, metabolic adaptation. One's really emotional, menopause belly. And one is like really scary, the boomer bug, like there's something, there's a bug in your system. Well, let's just use one of these, metabolic adaptation. And again, it's in the subject line. It's the number one reason folks fail at losing weight. Do you see how powerful that is? The number one reason, what am I asking you to remember, go back to what I said, that it's not on the slides. I want you to write down, ask your prospect to believe one thing. If, trust me, uh, if you can put this to work for yourself, you will absolutely expand your profitability when it comes to marketing in any format, sales pages, BSLs, emails, et cetera. But this is the number one reason that folks fail. Now I can create exactly what falls into meta metabolic adaptation. So it's not like, oh, the number one reason people fail to lose weight is they, they don't hold the right leg up for 20 seconds a day. I mean, that's just bullshit, right? But this is real. So I just take something that already exists, which by the way, this does already exist. And I make it even more real. I'm going to run through this one really quickly. I dread it as much as you do. I'm talking about failing to lose weight. So what am I doing there? And by the way, you thought you were just going to get UIB stuff. No, we're going to go into NLP. We're going to go into persuasion pretty heavy because, again, this is persuade and profit. So it's all about persuasion. When I say I dread it as much as you do, what scale are we on? What social scale do I immediately put you and I on? The same exact social strata. You and I are just alike. I dread it just as much as you do. You see how powerful that is? As opposed to, I know you really dread not being able to lose weight. This is even more powerful. Simple sentence, just two simple sentences. Nothing complex in the structure. Very, very cool with the NLP. Now, let's look at how I walk into metabolic adaptation. So if you're following, so if any of the following describe what you're going through, watching your waistline expand, Seeing your friends eat the foods they love while you feel like you're starving, suffering from any injury. Well, that's just about everyone reading that. And then I say, you may have what I call, notice the, the, the words are very important. You may have what I call metabolic adaptation. I can also say, you could be suffering from what experts now call. Now, notice I say now call instead of call. These words are very important and they seem so trivial, but one word can create an entirely different feel for every sentence you create, one word. It's one of the reasons we created Email Copy Pro because we didn't want you to have to create all these words and know that the word now would make it stronger. That's just a lot to know. Now, I use this uh, really grotesque, I hope you don't mind, um, I use a, a grotesque analogy to how, um, to how terrible one word can be. And this is a historical fact, unfortunately. Um, one of the great demons of humanity, Adolf Hitler, was able to transcend a lot of backlash that 1935, 1940 Germany had around 1930, I think it's 28 to 35 if my history is a little bit blurry, but they had toward these radical ideas by only adding one word to his crusade call. Instead of calling it a war, he called it a holy war. If you don't think one word can change stuff, read history. It's pretty scary. Now, we're not starting holy wars. <laughs> you know, screw those guys. They die a horrible death. We are trying to persuade people that we have an answer for something that can help them, that can really help them. So we're doing something for good. So persuasion and the skills I'm teaching you can be used for downright evil shit. And it can also be used for awesome, inspiring, life-changing stuff. Comment below which one you're into. <laughs> I'm going to go off on a limb here and say you're probably going to be into the latter. I'm going to be into life change stuff. So you may have what I call metabolic adaptation. What the heck is it? And then I explain what it is. And this is actually 100% true, by the way. 
It's when T4 begins to decline, that sends T3 into the toilet, and then leptin goes down, and that's called metabolic adaptation. Your, your metabolism basically adapts to lower calories and starts shutting down hormones. So there you go. That's the number one cause of weight. <laughs> that's the number one cause of uh, failing to lose weight. Now, that's a very powerful email. So I'm going to end today, and then we'll take your questions, by talking about what I'm doing here. This is cause-driven intrigue. I want to create intrigue. Notice all those, the boomer bug. You're probably wondering what the heck that is. If I say, you could have the boomer bug, you might be thinking, do I need to go to the pharmacy? Do I need to get a vaccine? Do I need, you know, what, what do I have to do with that? That's the whole idea behind that is intrigue. Intrigue is just, it is like, um, it is like sugar to a kid. I mean, it is like you put intrigue in front of your prospect and they can't help, but it's, it's irresistible. They can't help but have it. And that's why great shows are filled with intrigue. That's the whole idea behind you know, Game of Thrones and House of Cards. All those shows are just dripping with intrigue. Well, this is cause-driven intrigue. In other words, what's causing their problem? What is causing their problem and make it intriguing? So, for example, saying a decrease in thyroid output and a, a slower metabolism is blah, 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 and technically true. But metabolic adaptation makes you go, what? Okay, that I haven't heard that before. Now, think about it this way. If you're struggling to lose weight and you get all these emails and someone says, here's the number one cause of, of not being able to lose weight. It's this thing called metabolic adaptation. You put, and you've never heard of this before. That's why you haven't been able to lose weight. You see how powerful that is. As opposed to, yeah, your thyroid, it, it could go down or that could cause you. Well, well, a lot of people know that, right? Well, metabolic adaptation is actually beyond thyroid. It goes to leptin. But that, the point is, it's a really cool way of grabbing the entry and it's a cause okay now again you become in your prospects mind the only solution to this problem because you're the only one talking about it you're the only one talking about it you are the beached wood aged of whatever product or service that you are selling therefore you eliminate the competition psychologically it's gone and you could be you got a list of 50 people and this would work you get a list of 500,000 it doesn't matter you eliminate the competition. Now, primary causes can become entire campaigns. You can see this as a headline, right? Sales letters, ads, and so much more. That is awesome. Okay. So before I go, go to all the questions, I do want you to go watch my latest email workshop because I cover a lot of this stuff in more detail. But I also talk about what we've created. And by the way, if anyone knows what Dynamic Blueprints is, type it into the chat. If you know what that is, after today's training, hint, hint, you should know exactly what Dynamic Blueprints is. I even told you earlier. Okay, so what is Dynamic Blueprints? Well, that's the technology that we're using inside Email Copy Pro, but it's also something else. I'm looking for those, those three magical letters. So type them in. And I want you to go check this out because we have this up for free for you guys to watch. It's at johnbenson.com forward slash email. J-O-N is how I spell my name. B-E-N-S-O-N dot com forward slash email. Go check out that training today. You'll see what we're doing with Dynamic Blueprints, and you'll see why you never have to write an email again unless you really, 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 really want to. Well, I'd say you have never have to write emails 90% of the time, <laughs> because why would you? I, these are already completely dripping with all the persuasion and NLP you ever want, and I'd love for you guys to check that out. So that concludes that part of the deal, and I'm going to come back on to say hi to you guys and um, drag my monitor back over here. It's so much fun doing this. And cool, cool, cool. Hopefully that was good. Um, I'm going to put the CDA down here in case you need it, and that way we can get this. Hey, we've got a, got a lot of viewers on. Thank you so much, guys, for, for viewing. This is so sweet. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I hope that you guys are loving this. So tell me if you like what this is going on. If you like what I'm doing here, um, I just want to hear your feedback. And I'm, I'm truly being honest. If, if this wasn't helpful or if it was something, hey, I, I'd love it if you did this or, or whatever, tell me because I would love to do this. I'd love to really nail this right. By the end of 30 days, I want to be like the expert in Facebook Live. So I've had a lot of interesting suggestions. Some of them I will take. Some of them I probably want. Um, uh, yeah, shirtless is not probably not going to happen, even though that, that is pretty fun. Uh, but uh, yeah, we might do some crazy stuff. Who knows? I might get on my guitar or something. But yeah. Um, so you, you, I'm going to put you, you, Yoshi's comment. This is some advanced stuff and, and awesome. Thank you for saying that too. It is advanced, but it's not. And here's where I'm going to get a little, little tricky with you guys. The problem with copywriting and the problem with persuasion is by its nature, it is complicated. What I want to do and what I think I'm pretty good at is dissecting why things work and then making little formulas for you to follow. 
So in, hint, hint, inside Email Copy Pro, which I would love all you guys to become a member of, of course. Uh, but inside this, we walk you through how to create UIBs and give you video training and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, that, that's that's awesome. We call UIBs, by the way, a primary solution. But in technic technically, it's not. It's, it's really a primary cause, primary solution, and mistaken beliefs. But it's complicated, but only in concept. In application, once you think about it, like, how can you think of a – what's the customer's number one problem? And maybe I'll take someone here that say my customer's number one problem is this and I'll shoot you back a UIB. I'll shoot you back a UIB. How's that for, for freaking cool? Terry Rose says, hey, that's helpful. Um, uh, Gordon says, love to hear you play. Thanks, man. Uh, I've, I've been uploading a few videos to YouTube because pe it's funny. People never knew I was a professional bass player for you know long before I did this. But yeah, I do love it. Um, yeah. So, so thank you. And uh, um, I think Helene is, is that how you pronounce your name? I'm sorry if I butchered that. It says there's uh, love it, but there's so much more I have to let sink in. Yeah. That's why we're making these. So you can go back and, and listen to them over and over again. I uh, really do appreciate that. Um, uh, thank you. Sam. appreciate that. Morgan. And um, yeah, Gordon says, love it, John. So if someone wants to shoot over like a, a, a here's my customer's number one problem. I'll end by saying, I'm going to create a UIB with you right here. Now that's putting me on the spot. People, uh, you're going to freak out when I say this, but it's true. It's absolutely true. People pay me $5,000 to get on a coaching call with them for an hour or two 40 minute calls, five grand. And you're thinking, okay, that's just ridiculous, right? That's the, no, that's actually, I've yet to fail to make them far more money than that. So I've done this for seven years and, and with some of the top marketers in, in the world, because I'm really good at getting people's ideas very quickly and go, oh, here's something you can try. And okay. okay so Eddie, Eddie, be, beat the beat, beat everyone here. So Eddie, you win. Um, a new client of mine is a medical clinic with bad Google reviews. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I would need to know what what uh, what their sales letter would say in order to say here's the number one problem. Unless that's your service. So Eddie, if your service is I help people get good Google reviews, then then that's a whole different story. So can you can you explain that a little bit more? I want to make sure that I get that right. Um, so I'm going to, in Eddie, it's, it, it's, I'll, I'll come back to you. So uh, number one problem could be finding a killer MMO product to promote affiliate marketing. Okay. Um, so tell me more about what an MMO product is, first of all, because I do affiliate marketing, but I'm not the expert in affiliate marketing. So I would love to hear more about that. But it that sounds to me like it's an issue of like uh, having products that have run their lifespan, like, you know, either products that don't have killer offers or products that have basically, it's, it's, it's basically time for them to go to the product graveyard, you know? So if you're finding a killer MMO, to pro, that's the problem. It's, yeah, I, I would think of that as like, you know, offer fatigue. So, you know, that's an offer fatigue issue before I think of anything else. Fatigue, either because the, the sales page is lousy and it's just people are tired of looking at it, or fatigue and then it's very, very good and people haven't, uh, 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 you know, I'll make money on, okay, <laughs> yeah. MMO. I was thinking maybe that was something new and in, in, inside. So, so yeah. So, pro, oh, MMO. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Uh, make money online. Fill, make money online. Product promote. Okay, so let's think about this and let's dive into this. When people are looking to make money online, what's the first thing that they think about? So, if if they're if the least bit cynical, if they're thinking about make money online is a scam. Like make you've seen these ads, right? Make ten thousand dollars a week from home. You know by typing, you know, for an hour, those kind of things, right? And we know those are scams, right? So I would say that something around the problem is getting through the spam filter, the product spam filter. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. You might want to write this one down. The product spam filter. Okay. So product spam, you could even call it product spam is the number one reason that you are, that you can't find a product. And the reason why is because there's so many products out there that are nothing more than spam. Okay. So spam we know is useless, totally non-wanted information, right? That's all spam literally means. We think of spam as email, but spam is any useless information that's sent to us. So this is product spam. And I've never heard anyone say, you know, that this is product spam. Like it's literally a spam product. So yeah, I would play around with that. That'd be kind of cool. And it's also fun. And everyone knows what spam is. So I'm going to highlight what I'm talking about here a little bit. And then, uh, then we'll call it a day for the, for the coaching. I'll, I'll get a few more questions. I'm sure. But, um, Product spam is so cool because everyone knows what the word product means and everyone knows what the word spam means. So a great way to think of hooks, a great way to think of UIBs is make sure that they know what each one of those terms mean pretty much right from the get-go. Like 
people know what a boomer is exactly. Boomers know what boomers are. People know what a bug is. So that's what we try to do with this. So that is kind of a cool way of doing it. So think about that. So we just say, ha ha. So some people like this. So, um, uh, so cool. Okay. I'll do one more. Um, okay. This is a good one. Primary problem, having nail or skin, a skin fungal infection that doesn't go away. Antifungal medication can be quite different. Okay. So, so what we want to do with the primary problem is it's what's causing the fungus. So it's not that okay, this is very important. I'm glad that you, you said this, Bogan, because this is important. The problem, the primary cause is not the problem. It's what's causing the problem. So the primary cause in this case needs to be something like, and I'm going to make this up because I don't know anything about this topic, but, but you'll get the idea. You know, it's it, 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 the primary problem is something called um, uh, the fungal enzyme. Some, and, and, and so you have this enzyme in your body that's creating fungus. And that's why no, oh, any fungal medication rarely works. That's why you have nail and skin fungus. And it will only get worse unless you kill the fungal virus or the fungal enzyme. But you see where I'm going with this, right? It's like uh, you want to go with someplace that's causing the problem. Does that make sense? Okay, let me know if that makes sense to you. That what is behind the problem? Now, I could get into technical issues if we had more time. I'm trying to do this literally in a minute, so it's a little bit of a challenge. But I would get what I would do is go online. I would look up. Um, I would look up fungals. I'd look up funguses, like from in fungus infections from nail and skin, and I would read through the things that are causing those fungal infections. Then I would find some word that jumped out at me. And I'm using the word enzyme, even though that's not true. Okay, so just so you guys, I know that's not true. But if it was. You could call it, you, you could call it, what's, what's causing your problem is, is what we call the, the fungus enzyme or, you know, the, you know, that, that's, so it's some weird thing that they don't know about that only you have a good answer for. So yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Does it really do enzymes cause fun? <laughs> that I miss that I miss that it. Wow. That's kind of cool. So let me know if that makes sense. And, and <clears throat> so, okay. Uh, uh, oh, hello, Amanda. Uh, hello, Amanda. I love you, Amanda. Uh, fungal only manifests when immune system is caught. Oh, so so now this is what we do with with when we're getting into real customers and real stuff where I'm working with you long. I have to understand the problem. So since I'm not a fungus expert, um, so yeah, fungal only manifests itself when immune system is compromised. Very interesting. By the way, this is so weird. We're having like a testing here in my high rise. So so Muzak has just came on the the speakers in my apartment. That is not my taste in music. At all. So if you guys are hearing that, so, 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 um, okay. So, uh, so, but anyway, so you could take something. So like it's called, it's called, it's called, uh, uh, the, uh, the immune suppression syndrome, or, or it could be called some, something that the immunity backfire. Okay. Immunity backfire. I'm making it words that people know immunity backfire is what's causing the fungus. So that's just really intriguing. What is immunity backfire? Well, that's where some certain things in your immune system go haywire and they go, they backfire and they start causing this fungus. So that's the idea. Hope you guys get that is a cool thing. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on this call. The Muzak is going to drive me crazy. I want to end on a high note. So I want to remind you, first of all, to please go to check this out. I want to show this again. JohnBinson.com forward slash email. And you can check out my latest workshop and get into email copy pro. We're going to be doing this every day for 30 days. So tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time is part two of our series on unique identity brands. And then we're going to cause my favorite part. And it's the most important thing that you can possibly ever do is get it. What's called a primary solution, a primary solution. Now I realize this is a 30 minute call. We're going to try to keep these to 10 to 15 minutes. I'm sure my staff is going, man, you'd talk too freaking much, but I wanted to over deliver value. So hopefully you guys love this and hopefully you got a lot of value out of it. Please spread it around for me because we'd love to get some viral action going on. I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you tomorrow at 11 AM. Thanks a lot.